All right, hello everyone, welcome. We are the Spinsters Union. I'm Camille, I'm here with Dee Dee and Juliet. And in case you're wondering, what is the Spinsters Union? We're here to help. So we've gotten a lot of reaction to the word spinster. Um, we've been doing the site for two years and there have been both positive and negative reactions to it. So we thought we'd talk a little bit about it today. Uh, so Dee Dee, are you a spinster? Camille, are you throwing that question to me because <laughs> the 10th anniversary of my 29th birthday is coming up next Friday? <laughs> Oh, maybe. Right? Wait, is he the are, are, you, Wait. are you implying that because I am the eldest of the three that I would be the spinster? Use your hands, <laughs> it's not 10. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, exactly. <laughs> it's only the 10th anniversary of my 29th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> be honest with the people, Dee Dee, okay? Be honest, all right? <laughs> okay, people. I'm going to be 47 in a week. Woo! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm also yeah. unmarried, child-free. <laughs> so that may exactly. or may not make me a spinster. Uh, it, definitely. I definitely am. Um, but uh, I think thanks to what we've been doing for the past couple of years, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay. So yeah. Why, why are you feeling good about being a spinster? Or or is it complicated? Oh, girl, it's always complicated. In, as it as it is complicated when you're, I think, married with children. Like things can just be complicated. I think you can find a sense of peace and balance and acceptance and still feel at odds sometimes, you know? Um and I, I, I definitely will reflect back to two years ago when we launched on my 45th birthday. I mean, it was tough enough to be 45. <laughs> and, I'm, and, and I've never lied about my age. I don't believe in lying about my age. Um, contrary to a lot of people um, on Bumble, that fantastic site that I'm back on, thanks to you guys and uh, my new hero, Lindsay, uh, Rachel Lindsay from The Bachelorette. Um, I feel so much better about it than I did that day. And it's, again, it doesn't come without the like, hmm, uh, it's a little bit of a struggle, but I'm also just at peace sort of knowing uh, I'm doing all right. Like I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, there's no shame in it, there's no shame in my game. I mean, do I sometimes think, oh gosh, I really wish this were a little different. Um, I really wish that um, I had met the future Mr. Brown by now, if that's my path. But I'm also okay that if it's not, if it's not. Um, I'm definitely not interested in settling at, you know, 29 and then some, <laughs> or 40, I'm not, interested in, I'm not interested in settling. So I'm gonna keep, you know, chugging along. Mr. Brown might be one swipe away or, one, you know, sitting next to me at a, you know, at brunch one day. Who knows? Um, but in the meantime, there's like, I'm having some fun. i um, having some anxiety too, but I'm also having a lot of fun. So. All right. Yeah. I, yeah. I remember um, my 30th birthday. So do I. <laughs> some moons ago now. And, um, and actually at the time I was dating this guy who was 40 working retail alongside me and we'd gone out for a drink and he was I was sort of judging him about where he was in his life right he was so the was I. Regular <laughs> job yes so would I exactly and then he said to me he said you know this is not where I thought I would be at 40 and I and I sort of stopped because I realized I also at 30 even though I was happy I also was like this isn't where I thought I would be so you know, there are times where being single at 38, am I 38? Yes, I am 38. Um, you know, sometimes it's like, well, this isn't where I thought when I was 18, 
you know, that I would be when I was 38. But also, I am really happy where I am. Um, and, and I feel like, I mean, part of the thing for me about Spinster was also this, like, that it was this powerful term about a woman who could earn her own money because she was spinning wool, right, who didn't have to get married, even if later she did. And that sort of idea about like being, like owning your choices, you know, about doing the thing that you really want to do because you choose to do it, rather than there being like pressure about it from your family or from society. Sure. Um, I really liked that idea. Like, I want to be a woman who's like fully in control of my life. So I think, you know, now that we've been doing, you know, the site, what I would have thought about like being a single woman um, past a certain age is definitely different for me than, than when I was a teenager, you know, and thought about like, oh, you're alone, you know, and that's probably the most that I thought about it. Oh, Julie? Yeah, I think doing the site has um, helped me a lot with being single. Um, when we first started the site, I was, I was, I guess, about to turn 42, 43. Your birthday is right behind mine, lady. <laughs> well, not <laughs> Not the age, but the actual birthday. We're both kids. Yeah, the actual birthday. birthday, exactly. Right, the actual birthday. So, but I remember um, when I was about to turn 40 and how anxious I felt about being single and wanting to be married. I mean, that it, I mean, seriously, like having like panic attacks about it and just dating and you know, going out, trying to do my marriage project. And then when I turned 40, I moved out, out to California. I was living on the East Coast. I moved out to California and was still single, obviously. Um, and then I turned 40 and it was like so much tension left the room because I put all this pressure on myself and I, I also society puts on us as well to be married by a certain time. And if you're not, then you're a loser, you know? And I kind of felt a little bit like a loser, right? Loser. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but then it was like the worst had happened. I'm 40, I'm single, I'm child free, as Dee Dee said. And I'm like, okay, so what am I gonna do now? And that's when I really started to think about what I wanted my life to look like not what I thought it was supposed to look like. And calling back to what you were saying, Camille, about really choosing my choices. You know, I, I had been a freelancer, but I started my business and, and have um, done a lot of things in my life that I'm really proud of and, and I continue to do so. Um, I see life as long and I have some great role models in my life of women, both married and single, who are living their lives you know, to the extreme, you know, I have a, a, a mentor, she's 70 years old, she got engaged when she was 70, which was kind of sad because I was babysitting her aunt that had dementia while she went on a date with her, her 70 year old boyfriend. But, <laughs> I love it. Okay, yeah, you need to get a life. Okay, but, uh, <laughs> but that just shows you, like, I mean, you can, marriage is definitely a part of something that I want, and it hasn't happened yet, but there are certain things that I, I knew that I wanted and I have made happen in my life, and I'm so proud of the things that I have done. And I know that when the time is right, that marriage will happen for me, but I don't want my whole life to be about getting married. And there was a certain point of my life that I was tagging my value as a woman to being married. And now I'm tagging my value to who I am, not even my business or anything else, just to, I'm valuable because I'm me.